Keith and Steve here at Rock Island Auctions, and today we've got another gun from the vault. And what do we have here, Steve? Well, we've got a uh, basically a 19th century assault rifle. This is the Evans 44 repeater rifle, and it is notable in the fact that it has a tubular magazine extending down this stock, which is a tube with two pieces of wood on it, basically, in a helical pattern going all the way up, holds 34 rounds. Phew. Now these were mostly, from what I've read, uh, 44 caliber. The early ones were a 44 caliber low powered, about like a 44 special. Mm -hmm. 44 Evans was the actual cartridge. And then they had an improved 44 Evans, which had the power of close to like a 44 Magnum at the end. So that gave the sportsman more power. And there was a reason for that. Uh, originally they wanted to try to sell these to the military and they ended up selling them to civilians for sporting purposes. So they needed a little more zip to put mm -hmm. down animals, I would think. But these are kind of a, a neat design that you don't see very often. Um, it's a lever operated repeater. Kind of works like a sharps on the inside where the, the breech bolt tilts up to seal it off. Um, it's got a really nice adjustable sight on it. Uh, this thing weighs a ton. This thing must weigh like uh, nine pounds. It's a huge gun. But they thought they could uh, make a go of this with military service and it just didn't, uh, didn't uh, work out for them. It wasn't reliable enough for the military. And later on the ammo went out of production and it doesn't shoot anything common. So they had their day from uh, 1873 to 1879 I think it was. They made like 15,000 of these. But you rarely see them anymore, and you rarely hear about one actually being used. Now, back in the 1870s, uh, a Dr. Evans, a dentist back in Maine, thought he could come up with a, a better idea for a repeating carbine or a repeating rifle. So he came up with this helical magazine that would hold an ungodly amount of ammunition. It made a it made a Henry rifle look like a, a wannabe. Yeah. So. And interestingly enough, that uh, first one, that first 44, had about the power of a 44 Henry flat round. So it was aimed at that sort of market. Mm. Kind, of, kind of a different way of looking at it back then. Anything stand out to you on this thing? Yeah, two piece, because you have two sides. I mean. Which hopefully little... simplified construction. Yeah, so. construction. And Dr. Evans was awarded a lot of patents for manufacturing processes and stuff like this. How to make this receiver mm -hmm. was one of them. Yeah, that's, that's, I'd love to see what they look like inside. That would be amazing. It's probably pretty pristine because uh, yeah. we've even got color casing on here. The wood's still good. This, this thing is in really nice shape. Got yeah, machine marks left on yeah. the top from where it was fly cut or milled. It's almost like a decorative, the way that it tapers in and out. Right. Yeah, that's, that's very odd and unique. Now, if this looks familiar, you might have seen it in a couple movies like Crossfire or Tombstone. And if you're into video games, Red Dead Redemption, you can get one of these on there sure too. Sure enough. But that's the Evans Repeater. Kind of a neat gun. We thought you'd enjoy it. Leave us a comment if you did or if you didn't. And let us know if you know anything about these guns and if you've ever shot one because I've never talked to anybody that ever has. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.